in addition to university student housing. It will be a catalyst for clusters of companies and centers of research innovation in fields from robotics and AI to biotech and climate tech, from cybersecurity and microelectronics to human performance and rehabilitation. I believe we have here some representatives from your administration, uh, Carolyn Kirk from the Mass, the Mass Tech CEO, and uh, Dr. Emily Reichart, Mass CEC CEO. These are partnerships that we have long developed and will only be expanded in terms of priorities of the state, priorities of the university, and priorities of our nation. Link will boost the economy, create tax benefits for the city, and grow the reputation of Lowell as a city where people want to work, they want to learn, and they want to live. In short, today is tip-off. <laughs> you know, people, people. So today is tip-off of a transformative project for our university, our city, and the region. There are many folks in here who have been in the weight room and the practices, all the hard work, long hours, led us to today, all right? Game time. So I'd like to acknowledge a few of those folks that have been part of that working group. Uh, Vice Chancellor, Research and Innovation, and Maglia, Matt Correa, uh, if you can hold the applause, we'll go through that. Um, Secretary Von Howe, Economic Development, she had another speaking engagement, but has been there in all the working meetings. Under Secretary Ashley Stolber, Ashley. Uh, Under Secretary Heath Faley. Um, Commissioner Adam Bankey, who uh, the state stole from us. No. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, my leadership team that has been part of this effort. Provost Joe Hartman, uh, Vice Chancellor um, Joanne Yastrzemski, Vice Chancellor um, who just stepped away, Steve, retired Steve O'Riordan, but was involved in the back there, right? Um, Vice Chancellor John Fudo, and Vice Chancellor Beck Rollins. So thank you, everybody, and thank you for waving. So, <laughs> And there's too many in the community name that have been part of this, but I do want to acknowledge President Phil Sisson from Middlesex Community College, the talent that you develop from the community colleges, some that come to us and some that go directly to work, is part of the vision that we have here today. We also have our neighbors from John Dark Credit Union and Renaissance on the River who are right uh, in the East Campus area, so we'll be uh, working very closely with them. Um, and a special thank, thank you to our uh, uh, development team, uh, Wexford, uh, GMH, First Atlantic. Thank you, Chris Collins, for everything you've done um, in this project. Iron Point Cube 3. Uh, it, there's so many people in this room and outside of that have been part of this effort. Um, but I want to close by saying we're incredibly, incredibly grateful to Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll for your administration's support and commitment. Um, this would not happen without that. And you can see what an impact this is going to have on this region. So now it is my great pleasure to introduce the president of the UMass system, someone 